Peace, family. Man, if only I could be up here more. I really wish I could be. I'm working on giving myself the time to be able to be up here more. So much stuff I want to talk to you guys about. I swear. <laughs> I feel like uh, Maj Trick. <laughs> AKA the Matrix does what it can to uh, keep you on a track, to keep you on a tier, to keep you on a terrain, a territory, a tour. <laughs> what are these T words? So, uh, today's video which human are you? All humans made equal? So, uh, share to a few more groups. What I've noticed, the more I share, the more people end up uh, following or subscribing to my YouTube. Helps, benefits. Those views, those shares equate numbers. And those numbers equate uh, into digital currency. And that digital currency allows me to come up here more. So I'm almost done. So please be patient. Just this is an important aspect of it. I just wish I could do this before starting. That way I don't have to be thrown off by share, 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 share. So uh, we're going to be speaking on a very interesting idea today. Indeed. <laughs> Someone just messaged me, said, of all the people I've encountered, you're the only person that understands me. That was a that was a female, by the way. And uh, it's interesting because that actually taps into uh, mythology, how they say the Christ will return. Well, uh, nothing returns the same way. So if the Christ was to return, then the Christ has to return in a different way, shape or form. The Christ that you have been informed about says that he is the son of the father. I guess the Christ to return might be the son of the mother. The Luna being. So, now I can get started. I have about 30 minutes to do this video. It's going to be a lot of information we're going to throw out there. But hopefully, uh, we could all stay on the same path to get this video done. Okay, all right, so uh, in the Egyptian culture, they often advocated that all humans on this planet are not equal or the same. Now, you know the story of your uh, Genesis where Eve had three kids, had to turn off the Wi Fi. Let's Go back and say it again. It's okay. So we know the Genesis story where uh, Eve had three children, Cain, Abel, and Seth, or Seth of your Egyptian text. And you know that uh, Cain killed Abel, and then Cain was kind of uh, pushed out into the wilderness and was picked up or embraced by another race of beings. It's in your biblical text. Now, I'm not going to really get into that. It's not what this video is about. I have a limited amount of time. But uh, in the realm of things, your Egyptians understood humans in three forms. Here's the three forms of humans. Remember what a hue is. Remember, please don't get lost. Hue is light. Light represents information. Information often represents consciousness. Where do you pull from? All humans made equal? Maybe made equal. But doesn't mean that all humans are pulling from the same points, from the same wheels of light, from the same chakras. I'll explain it. Just be patient. Not all humans are pulling their consciousness from the same point. Most people are in the ass. Acting like a goddamn donkey. See how Christ comes up on the donkey? Most of them was in the ass. But here, just process. So human beings come in three forms. 
You have the conscious human being, which is about 1% of the motherfuckers on this planet right now. Conscious. Conscious human beings. How do you know if you are a conscious human being? A conscious human being does not associate itself with someone else's logic, with someone else's system. Meaning that if you was a child and your mama said, little boy, don't be running around, stand still. And what do you do? You run around, you fucking doing everything that is not what she telling you logically to do. That's in essence showing you you're in your own realm of consciousness. That you're in your own realm of beliefs. This is important because your beliefs is associated to your logic and your logic is created for you. It's actually here for you before you're born. So you get uh, humans that are conscious. And this might explain why those of you in the conscious community can go to a uh, 100,000 lectures and still don't know a goddamn thing. <laughs> go to every every lecture out there. Who out here who doing lectures now? I don't know. Who cares? You going to them people. And guess what? 2 years later, you still no, no. I'll tell you what happens. You go to all the lectures. Fucking spend five years. YouTube, chakras, Hindu, Vishnu's, all of it. You know where I see you in two years? In the goddamn pulpit at church talking about praise the Lord. Do you know why you're talking about praise the Lord? Because it's too much for your simple ass to process. It's too hard for you. It's easier for you to be an intellect. So your second realm of humans is intellect. And you know that that's a majority. Who's in church? Motherfuckers drive Lexus, Beamers. They own... Fortune 500 companies, these are your intellects. They're in church because it's easy for them to get told the information. Ain't nobody really want to put the work in. Nobody really want to suffer. Ain't nobody really want to understand the true realm of why you're here to suffer. Ain't nobody really trying to suffer. Nah. Nah. Because y'all perceive this as your life. And you would never want your life to be suffered. So, anyway, your first realm of humans is conscious humans. Your second realm of humans is intellectuals. Your third realm of humans is automatrons. Goddamn robots. Goddamn mecha machines. Fucking artificial intelligence. Uh, Self-replicating. Do you know what self-replicating is? That's what goddamn insanity is. Do you know what insanity is? Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. What, what do you think school is? Y'all go to school every single day. Every single day expecting different results. Y'all are insane. Y'all fucking crazy. Y'all go to church every Sunday. Insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again. Expecting different results. And then y'all expect that something's going to change. But then when someone gives you the real shit like chaos, you're like, oh no. That's, that's something I can't even grasp. Not even understanding that chaos is what we all come from. And then what happened to chaos was chaos was captured. Do you know what chaos is represented in your uh, ancient culture? The female is represented as chaos. So do you know what happened to the female? She was captured. Do you know who captured the female? Or the first captured female? It would be your Eve. You understand the story of an uncaptured female? That would be your Lilith. Do you get the stories? One was captured, one was a captured dot, one was an uncaptured dot. Dot. I'm talking about a whole, okay? What does an owl represent? That which guards over the hole and the tree. You've seen the pictures of the owls kind of standing there in the hole of the tree. Which tree? See, y'all not ready for me. I could just kind of keep it simple. So let me just backtrack a little bit, make it smooth, calm, collect. I don't want to lose nobody. So, all this has to do with where you're pulling your consciousness from. Because, once again, how is your reality being produced? Through your emotions and your logic. Through your imagination and your beliefs. Your beliefs then kind of become your uh, thoughts and actions. I'll explain it. None of this is real. This is all in your imagination. All of this. But what happened was your imagination was influenced. 
was uh, so three states of possession, and then I'm gonna get back to it. Three states of possession, all right, or demonic possession, if you want to call it. First state is integration. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, first state is infestation. All right. First state of possession, infestation. The second state of possession, integration. The third state of possession, compliance. Now, I just explained to you the same thing with the, what the Egyptians is talking about. Once again, you get. Infestation, I'm sorry. You get infestation. You get integration. You get com You get compliance. All right. So, of course you would know that the robot beings would be a uh, compliance. The infestation would be what happened to uh, those conscious beings. Unfortunately, they've been infestated with. Uh... Y'all know what sperm does? Let's just process sperm. Sperm. You get an egg. You get a body. All right? You get a female body. First state of possession. Infestation. Second state of possession. Remember, we're possessing an egg. Process what I'm saying. First state of, of harboring the soul. Of capturing chaos. The soul. Takes three states. Infestation. Sperm enters the egg. Boom. First state. Integration. Now the sperm kind of becomes a part of this egg. Hey, egg. Hey, baby. You know, let's make a baby. You know, boom. We integrate in ourselves in this egg. And then before you know it, guess what the egg has to do? Comply. Compliance. This is how they capture Kodak. <laughs> this is Kodak Black. Get it? <laughs> Kodak, a picture of black. How you capture the black. <sighs> Might be gone. I don't know. We'll just take it slow. <laughs> Maybe I have y'all with me. But, uh. So here's how your imagination is being influenced through your systems of beliefs, a.k.a. your consciousness. Where are you pulling from? So I'm going to tell you how none of this is real. Who do, Listen, how do you know? How do you influence logic? Because logic is what you deem to be real. All right. So how do you influence logic by building a system of belief? Do you know what system of belief they built in you? Your goddamn body process this. How do you believe? That you can speak if you don't have no goddamn throat, a.k.a. a thorax, a.k.a. a throat chakra. How do you believe that you can communicate if that system isn't created? How do you believe that you can ingest food if you don't have a system called a stomach? If you never had a stomach, if you never believed you have a stomach, guess what? You wouldn't fucking eat. If you never believed that you had a throat, guess what? You wouldn't speak. They are creating these systems for you. Your whole body is a system of belief that has been created prior to your consciousness or your mind, you, your soul. I mean, honestly, it's just really a battle between your body and your mind over and over and over again. And neither of them fuck with each other. Your body is so mad at you because your body is like, bitch, you do stupid ass decisions that get us killed that get us in the realm of death. But death is a way of resurrecting. How do you ascend if you're not below? How do you resurrect if you don't die? What are you killing off? What is death? What are we dying off? Do y'all understand? Y'all go through death all the time. It's called brain. It's called brain cells. First off. First off. First off. The goddamn food you eat is killing your brain cells as you are still alive right now. You have something called dead skin. That's death. Y'all are in death all the time. Please don't get lost. We are here in this journey of life together. Y'all got to process what this, what this looks like. 
If not, you're never going to really truly understand the system. So look, so you get three forms of humans. Conscious. Now, where would they be pulling from? Where would the conscious beings be pulling from? This should be easy because I told you the second form is intellect. So you know what, 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 you know what, what chakra is the conscious beings pulling from? Do you know what gives you consciousness? Feelings. Emotions. That's what gives you your con your degree of consciousness. Mean degree, mean oh your angle, let's say that. Or give you your angle of consciousness, your emotions. I'm a happy person. So guess where my degree or angle of emotions is going to be at? High, elevated, risen. I'm a happy person. But if I was a sad person, or an emotional person, a depressed person. Do you know why I say depressed? Because depression is the same thing I just explained. It is a form of possession. Depression. Possession. See, I got to start paying attention to these words. You got a word called unicorn. You got a word called universe. Why? You get a word called Tiamat. T-I-A. You get a word called Titan. T-I-T. Why? They give you the information in the words. He came from she. How do you know? Because he is attached in the word she and her. What are you talking about? Not all of us are primordial beings. The primordial beings have been killed and then have been uh, transformed into something you call melanin. And it is, it is primordial waters, a.k.a. your melanin, a.k.a. captured chaos. That is kind of fueling your reality. Why would you cap? What do you do with chaos? You can't do shit with it. So, since you can't really do anything with chaos, they figured you gotta at least put chaos on a grid. We personally can't do anything with chaos, so let's put chaos on a grid, a timeline, a trek. Let's separate chaos in little itty bitty pieces as long as, as much as we can. You call those stars. Do you know what a star is? It's an ego. Do you know what an eagle is? It wants to perceive that it's alive. How the fuck are you alive when you come from source? See, I don't even want to get into the whole degree of things. Because you sit here and talk about melanated people. They consider themselves master races. Not even realize that the only way you master anything is through knowledge. Well, how the fuck do you get knowledge? Well, it, you don't get... Life and knowledge is two different things. That's why they told you it's a tree of life and a tree of knowledge. Because the tree of knowledge is a separation from the life. Separation from the whole. A separation from the great mother. Source creator. You've separated yourself. You want on a trek. Just to be a master. I guess. I wonder why you get dark. Darkness. Dark races. As it enters its abyss. A new abyss. So, uh, depression is the same thing. Depression kind of, uh, infest, it's, depression is an infestation. So, depression first is infested in you, or festered. That's where the word Adam's family, festered. This form of depression festers in you, or is infested in you. Now, let's explain how depression is influencing your culture. Y'all depressed because y'all don't have a new car. Y'all depressed because y'all don't have Louis Gooey, Gooey, Louis Gooey, Gooey, Louis Gooey, Gooey, Gucci, Fendi Prada. Y'all depressed. So because y'all don't have those things, y'all integrate depression into yourselves. I mean, y'all uh, infest depression into yourselves. And then you start integrating depression into your life. I can't get out of my bed today. I'm just so sad. I can't eat today. I'm just so sad. I can't be with anyone else in my life. I am just so sad. This is how you are integrating <laughs> these beliefs into your reality. And then before you know it, you're in the third state, which is compliance. 
You a goddamn automatic robot, automatically robotically moving towards a state of depression. You ain't conscious. You don't even know how the depression came to you. I had to explain it to you that you're literally depressed because of some goddamn Chinese made things that don't even fucking count. They don't even count in the realm of existence. What the fuck? The only reason why y'all even like goddamn Louis Gucci and Prada is because Anunnaki's used to carry around bags 10,000 goddamn years ago. Huh? You think I'm lying? Google it. Literally, Google Anunnaki bag, handbag. It's fucking carrying a purse. What are you talking about? They, they play with y'all. They play with y'all because they know that y'all don't know nothing. They know that what y'all know is based on what they gave y'all. So, where uh, the conscious community is pulling from or the conscious human is pulling from is from the heart space. This is where your, uh, your supreme intelligence is. And then you have those that are logical that are kind of pulling from uh, their third eye. And then you have those that are automatic or robots that are pulling from their root chakra. All right, so I basically explained it to you. So you get you get some some humans that pull from the navel down to the root. So they activate or are consciously aware of passion, anger, um, low vi- low vibrational thoughts, because. You get two points that kind of govern thought. You get the little brain and the big brain. The little brain is in your stomach or sacral chakra. So you get low thoughts. That's kind of like down here. So passion, you know, anger, rage. Basically, the seven deadly sins, gluttony, all that that, that stuff. That's right here. That's, that's from the navel down. And then you got intellects. What do intellects do? They don't really fuck with the heart too much. They don't really feel the shit they talking about. You can tell. But they damn sure speak up. <laughs> they damn sure listen. They damn sure using this thing you call their mind. They use that. This is your intellects. So this is how you get a war between reptiles and mammals. This is what they're explaining. Reptiles would kind of be like this intellectual species. And then this mammal that's kind of instinctive, passion, ooh, can't even communicate. And then you get the conscious that created them both. Which, of course, is... Uh, in the beginning, there was the great mother. In the end, is going to be the great mother. <laughs> that's it. There's nothing outside of her. Like... I put up a post. And I, you know, I'm not really here to, like, debate. I don't got to debate. I don't care. I don't care to go against your system of logic. No. Cool. I'm developing my own system of logic. I'm developing my own system of beliefs. I'm developing my own system of perceiving my reality through my own imagination. Not yours. So, we might not be on the same wave. I get it. It's cool. But just process life. I've done several videos explaining how the sun is a sperm cell. It's a solar deity. It's a goddamn sperm deity. Sperm. If you look at what... If you look at sperm swimming to an egg, it literally looks like a sun. It literally looks exactly the same. Now, this is what I'm trying to explain to you. If the sun, S-O-N, is pronounced the same way as S-U-N, then you have to understand that the sun has a connection to childbirth. It literally is in its name, sun. You have to know. See, here's the thing. If the shit I say don't resonate with you, then don't use these systems. You use the goddamn word sun all day. All day. If you don't believe that the sun is associated with childbirth, then don't use the word. You get what I'm saying? I'm I'm lost. How are you debating that? You use the word. There's no debating. You use it. If you didn't use the word, then I could see how it could be debatable. But God damn it, you use it. So how can you debate something you apply? That's cognitive dissonance. That's goddamn insanity. 
<laughs> Swear, it's like, whoa. But listen, so uh, <clears throat> you have stories of Amazonian women who never used or had a male and yet they were able to give birth to females. Now they didn't give birth to males. We ain't read no, I ain't, I ain't read no texts or hear no stories associated with that. And then I get a goddamn dude want to come up and say, I ain't never heard of no woman giving birth uh, without a man. Nigga, you haven't heard half the shit I talk about. Fuck you, you played goddamn PlayStation for 10 years of your life. Of course you ain't hearing no shit like this. The fuck where you been? I, same for me. I ain't traveled this goddamn world. So I'm not going to sit here and say it's not possible. How does that sound? No. No. Nigga, you haven't been outside of the goddamn California. Maybe fucking Washington, D.C., motherfucker. Like, where have you been? But anyway, so... You know that the sun is associated with childbirth, so then how do you think women got pregnant? How do you think women got pregnant without without the, the micro sun? It got pregnant by the macro sun. Sun gazing, sun bathing. Women would go out and bathe in the sun during their ovulation. I'm not going to get into that because it has to do with your pineal gland. And I don't even think people understand that you literally have a clitoris in your head. It is a literal clitoris. Just like the clit that's down. My dick is a clit. What do you talk? What do you talk? Huh? Why, why is it that in every ancient text, a female can do everything a male does? But a male cannot do what a female does, cannot give birth. But a female can do every single thing that a male does in every text, hands down. Now you gonna tell, I could pull up pictures of females who have clitorises that are about two, three inches long. This is, this is real. This is, you could look it up. Where can't go too hard sometimes god take it easy just just understand that uh your pineal gland absorbs light and it can absorb absorb for, for uh, it can absorb false light meaning artificial light what would be artificial that would be a uh, something all right so artificial intelligence is something that can replicate itself without the use of of another body, deity, entity. Self-replicate. We don't, we can't self-replicate. That's why, now, what can self-replicate is the female. But you got to remember where this technology comes from. Everything comes from source. Self-replication was something females did all the time. Until self-replication was then introduced in an artificial system you call... AI, mecha, machine. You got seven consciousness, seven systems. All this is playing on triggering you on a subconscious level to make you believe these things exist. Your asshole is a system of belief. When you shit, you believe the act of eating. This is belief. When your vagina gets wet, when the phallus gets hard, these are systems of beliefs. This is how y'all perceive your reality through these triggers. mind be like let me let me tell the body you got a stomach ache right now just so this body can stay here and know you know we real right now let me let me let me let me make that dick hard in the morning just so that man knows he's real right now it's important we got to make sure they know they're real
Now, the conscious is pulling from the heart chakra. And the heart chakra is what the yin and the yang represents. It's the dark side of you, which is your subsystem, which is below you. And then you get the light side of you, which is above you. Electromagnetism. And you kind of combine electromagnetism to kind of produce your uh, current field. Terrain. Terra. Y'all know what happened to the Titans? Y'all know the story of the Titans? So how do you get how, so how do you get rid of the belief system? Develop your own system of beliefs. That's what we're all doing now. That's that's how you truly live. That's how you truly are alive. By do you understand? That which is real lasts forever. Let me say that again. That which is real lasts forever. Y'all should know that we're not in a system that is real. We are in a system that is a real. By your fisher deity or fisher man. Anybody practice runes? Y'all know what the F symbol stands for on the runes? So, uh, <clears throat> the human, the light being, dealing with seven forms of light, dealing with seven forms of information. Do y'all understand what this is trying to say? How can you conform seven different forms of information? Does that even sound logical? Does that sound like that's what we're supposed to do? Conform all seven versions of ourselves? into the exact same thing. And how are you experiencing the different realms or versions of you? That's the secret of chaos, that it's not supposed to be a good or a bad thing. It is an is thing, it exists. But explaining what that could look like could be a little weird. It could be a little weird. And uh, I don't know if too many people are quite ready for that yet. But uh, it's the secret in the uh, Star of David it's the secret is in the name David. David. Da. Do y'all know what da means? D A. Da. Or Darth. D A R. Darth. Or uh, D A. I forgot how they spell it. But dark. D A. Dark. Da. Da means darkness, right? When we say that Da would be a reference to darkness, the word we use in the life. Da, dark. Vid. What's vid? Y'all know what vid is? Where do we use the word vid? Video. Film. Pictures. Moving pictures. What is the dark video? It's a deep thing. Oh, you think that's it? Do you know what the name David represents? Do you know what this is? This is a portal. It's a portal. These are two points of origins. One on the top. One on the bottom. And then you get a spiral in between. The quickest way between two points is a straight line. So, of course, they kind of make that line spiral so you don't get from point A to point B too quick. <laughs> and uh, the word David... D is a doorway. D is an opening. And an exit. This is why you get two D's. Two holes. Two points. Okay? And then you get something in the middle. It's called AV. A-V-I. Y'all know what that stands for? Audio Video Integrated. What are you talking about, Q? Process. You get an opening, you get an exit. Between the opening, you are integrating two systems, audio and video or visual, sound and light. Y'all are in the trek, the system of David. 
dark audio and video integrated in you. Doesn't the screen start off dark when you go to the movies? When you turn your cell phone on standby mode, does it not get dark? Is your pupils not dark? Not all of y'all. It's a deep thing. It really is. Like I said in the beginning of the video, something's returning, but it ain't what you think it is. This is not going to be a system of logic, which is the father. It's going to be a system of chaos, which is the mother. And the son of chaos has been born and has been resurrected. And it's going to be very interesting how this uh, captured chaos that's what a body is it's capturing this chaotic energy it's capturing your soul what do you think your body does let's process that once again this body has captured you that should ask who your body came from you get this weird ass story we get this Genesis story where you get one female Eve and all this dick got Adam you got set where where did the life come from where did the life come from do you understand that your nature according to the book that y'all honored worshipped paid offerings and tidings to according to y'all book process y'all all a part of um Incest. All of you. All of us are a product of incest. According to the biblical book that we have all paid tidings to. Well, I ain't really never paid no money. I'm cheap. Pay my respect <laughs> until uh, it lost it. Isn't the nature of capturing uh, a form of chaos? Isn't the nature of capturing a form of chaos? Um, nature is a way of controlling chaos. This is why you have to go against your nature. This is why, see, I tell you some shit like this, all right? It's time for us to kill the gods. It's done. It is time to kill off all the gods. Y'all like, hell yeah! I'm with you, motherfucker. We killing all them gods now. Now, if I change it and say it's time to kill God. Oh, shit. What you just say? That man's the devil. That man is evil. Get me off this live right now. So I can say it's time to kill the gods. Because y'all looking at that like, you know, them little demigods, them little nobodies, you know. Hey, we kill them motherfuckers off. But you can't kill God. That's taboo. I ain't saying kill God. I'm just saying, like, what? Huh? Y'all don't realize how weird our life is? Like, what? What is chaos? It is uncontrollable matter. So what captured chaos? Nature. Fire. Earth. Air. Water. Now... Also, according to y'all weird-ass fucking book, it says if you disobey God who is jealous of you, let's not even get into that, but if you disobey the God that's jealous of you, because what the f- Jealous? Huh? Let me know all the gods above me. What are you jealous of? What? Now, that that's just one reference. There's several references of the God of your Bible being jealous of you. But I'm not going to get into that. Now, according to y'all book, if you disobey your God, then you were going to burn. Well, then shit, I get to hold on to my body when I die? Is that what you're telling me? 
Wait, because I'm trying to understand. First off, y'all saying y'all don't believe in reincarnation. So, all right. So, then I hold on to this body. That's what y'all saying. Because something got to burn. Like, you need a physical object to burn in order for things to burn. So, what burns? Then you're going to say your soul. Your soul burns. It is the soul that burns. Yeah? That's that's what burns? The soul? That's what y'all saying? The soul burns? If you disobey God, then God's going to burn your soul. Do you know what a soul is? I know what a soul is. A soul is often referred to as a solar or a system of light. Well, I might not be the smartest one in the classroom, but I understand light is a form of heat or or heat generation uh, generates heat, light, warmth, fire. Like, how do you burn a soul when a soul is made of fire? It's made of light. How do you burn that? How does that work? How does that work? I need to know. Kindred asked, what would Yah be? Yah would be beings that are on a system of the Trinity. A Y, a cup, a release. Yah would be those that are waiting to be captured, caught, saved, picked up, nourished, supported. That would be Yah. Yah would be those waiting to be nourished, captured, hooked, because the Y, the Ya is where the word Ya comes from, J A Ya. So just waiting to get hooked, hook, line, and sinker. It doesn't work. It's false. So, uh, we're not going back <laughs> to an old system. You're only going to evolve. I know they say that we repeat things, repeat, and this is true. FUBU came out 10 years ago. FUBU was re-released now. It is not going to be the same. The people that were creating FUBU 10 years ago are not the people creating FUBU now. The fabric that they used 10 years ago is not the fabric that they're using now. What I'm saying is, yes, we might often replicate something that has existed, but it is not going to be the exact same we go so hard on Kemet. We go so hard on ancient cultures, not realizing that we're not going back to that point in time. It does not work like that. It never did. So understand how to use ancient sciences now. Not let me go back to the way things were. That would imply fucking time. And y'all don't realize time is against you? Don't y'all get old? Don't y'all die? So don't y'all realize time is against you? Y'all wanna, so shit. So I look at it, I'm like, God damn, time really like, low key like an enemy. Like it be against me. It's trying to like, make me lazy. Trying to make me old. Like damn, time and gravity, them two motherfuckers, boy. Them motherfuckers work hand in hand. But I never even really got into what gravity is on a divine level. But needless to say, time, which is a system of pulling, and gravity, which is a system of pushing, you're kind of getting, you know, pushed and pulled by time and gravity. And then y'all like, nah, I'm living my best life. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't let me stop you, dude. Live your best life. Don't let me interfere. So, I'm getting ready to end this. The Vegas trip is definitely on. 
Maybe some of y'all don't care. It's okay. Because this is going on my YouTube. They care. <laughs> so I'm going to add this little comment now. The Vegas trip is definitely on. It's only 16 tickets available. The flyer is going to be released this Monday. The uh, Eventbrite page is going to be released this Monday. There's a trip being planned for Vegas at the Luxor. Do y'all even understand Lux? What that really means? <laughs> Luxuries. Lou means light, just so y'all know. This is why uh, we're going to a big ass pyramid. Q, we gonna do rituals? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> y'all should see some of the messages I got from this. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. Bro. Having y'all realize that the reason why they give y'all this shit is because it don't work no more. Y'all need, we don't need no goddamn altars, candles, herbs, motherfucking signs, goddamn bells, chimes and chimes and clings and rhymes. Art thou the spell? Heal thy leg, heal thy head. All the way until it's dead. Like, I'm like, bruh, do you understand who you fucking are? No, you don't. So because you don't know who you are, you still think you got to use goddamn puppets and bodies and tools. Not even realizing that you are the goddamn energy reinforcing all of it. Your imagination. It is your imagination that is truly producing all that you see. Now, y'all need to get back into the childlike mind. Just like the Bible says. Do you understand the secret of the child? Probably not. Y'all understand the secret of the goddamn adult? Do you know what the secret of the adult is? That goddamn adult's about to die. That adult is dead already. <laughs> that child is focusing on life. The adult is focusing on death. Am I lying? Tell me I'm not wrong. Adults smoke cigarettes. Adults drink liquor. Adults do drugs. Adults do stupid shit that brings them towards death. So... Adults' imagination is in a state of death While the child's imagination is in a state of life Maybe I should start to tap into your childlike mind more often You'd be surprised the reality that can be created for you That's right, Joshua, Joshua. She says, I only use my mind now, when you say you only use your mind, I need you to understand that your mind is a state of consciousness and that you are traveling your seven seas. You are travel traveling your seven planets. You are traveling your seven days of the week. You are traveling your 777 right here in your mind. Jackpot. Cling, 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 cling. And I'm trying to explain that the way you reach your jackpot is to understand how your consciousness is influenced. Seven minds, seven chakras, seven systems of belief. I believe I'm a memory. So guess what? You are remembered. I believe I am that which I see. So then you become that which you see. I believe my sound, my voice matters. Therefore, your voice matters. I believe my emotions affect reality, affect creation, affect me. So your emotions start affecting you. I believe that I am active, that I'm a being of motion, that I'm a being of, of production. Okay, guess that comes in the solar plex. I believe that I can instinctively tap into all of me. And guess what? Goddamn Spider-Man. Become God fucking Spider-Man. I believe that my passion can fuel all of me. All of this. Or you believe your rage can fuel all of this. And that's usually what happens. So, appreciate you guys for tuning in. I gotta go back to Uber. I wish I didn't have to. Hopefully this Vegas trip helps. So then, you know, I could get back on, on this system. But, um, so what I've been working on besides the Vegas trip, 
is uh, organizing all this information in like PDF form. So uh, I think I'm releasing a course. It's going to be separate. So the first course is going to be strictly just information. And I know a lot of people have been like, Q, what books do you suggest? I want to read. All right, cool. So what I did was I actually invested some time this week into looking up different books, different uh, uh, information that can correlate with the course or the information that I'm trying to teach. But um, basically just trying to help y'all understand that the planets connect to your body parts. Like, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. Like, like, 